Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about rates and unit rate. All right, so for the first two pages, you're gonna take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so what exactly is a rate? Well, a rate is a type of ratio that has two different units. Let's write that down. So it's a type of ratio. that has two different units. All right, so a type of ratio that has two different units. So for example, here we have a rate. It's $30 and two hours. So the two different units would be dollars, let's underline that, and then also hours, all right? Uh, if we have the ratio 70 students to four teachers, well, one unit is students, and the other unit is teachers. All right, uh, 35 jump shots in seven minutes. Well, jump shots, that's one unit, and the other unit is minutes. And then finally, uh, miles and gallons, right? Miles, that's one unit, and gallons is another unit. All right, so a rate is basically a type of ratio that compares two different units, all right? So now let's uh, turn the page. And let's talk about unit rate, all right? And this is, unit rate is used a lot out there in the real world, all right? So unit rate is a rate that has a denominator of one unit. So would you please underline that one? That, that's key, actually, let's box that in. Has a denominator of one unit. The following are uh, examples of unit rate. So 600 miles in one hour. Maybe that's how fast a, a airplane flies. Uh, $4.50 for one gallon of gas, all right? or $8 for one pound of, say, hamburger, all right? So unit rates can actually save you money. So here's the problem. It says, um, it says store A sells three Red Sox posters for $30, and store B sells five posters for $45. To determine which store has the better deal, find the unit rate, all right? So the way you do that is you divide. So here we get three posters for 30 bucks, right? So I'm gonna write down the ratio 30 bucks for three posters, right? And 30 divided by three ends up being 10 to one. And now because that's a one, we know it's a unit rate. So it's $10 per poster. Then over here we know that for $45, I can get five posters. And 45 divided by five is nine. So it's $9 for every one poster. So it's cheaper to go to store B uh, to buy the posters because they're just $9 a piece. All right, so now that you understand a little more about rates and unit rates, why don't you pause the video and try the Your Turn Now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do this practice problem. So for this scenario, you had six employees, and they each sell hot dogs at Fenway Park, which is in Boston. And the employee that had the highest sales rate, okay, uh, earned the bonus, right? So Miranda, she sold 60 hot dogs in three hours. So her rate was 20 hot dogs per hour. And because it's per one hour, remember, that's unit rate, right? Uh, Mike sold 26 hot dogs per hour. And the way I got that is that I did 96 divided by four. Um, Sarah sold 110 hot dogs in five hours, so her rate was 22 hot dogs per hour. Connor sold 114 hot dogs in six hours, so that's 19 uh, hot dogs per hour. Uh, Chloe sold 18.6, we could say seven if you wanted to, uh, hot dogs per hour. And then finally, Chris sold 18 hot dogs per hour. So the winner of the award or the bonus is Mike, because Mike sold the most hot dogs per single hour. So the employee that earned the bonus was Mike. All right, how'd you do?